Hello everyone, welcome back to Genius Tutorials. So today in this session we are going to take a few questions based on matrices topic. Okay, so uh, let's start with this question and uh, this question contains three uh, different parts. So let us uh, start with first part. Now in this question it is given that let A be the set of all 3 by 3 symmetric matrices all of whose entries are either 0 and or 1. 5 of these entries are 1 and 4 of them are 0. So we have to find that how many such matrices are possible. Now see in this case uh, we know that we have 5 entries as uh, 1 and uh, 4 of the entries are 0. Okay. Now since matrix is symmetric so we must have even number of zeros for i not equal to j entries. i not equal to j entries means uh, which are not diagonal elements. Okay. We know that for diagonal elements i is equal to j. Na? So for i not equal to j we must have even number of zeros. Okay, so basically we have two cases. In first case, in first case we can say that um, principal diagonal elements are all one. All diagonal elements are one. Okay, now if all diagonal elements are one, this, this and this. Okay, so we are left with how many elements? Six elements. Okay, now if all the entries in principal diagonal are one, we have uh, two zero and 1 time 1 in this 2 0 and 1 time 1 so this arrangement can be made in how many ways we can say three cases are possible no? okay three cases are possible so uh, we have to arrange either the upper triangular or the lower triangular and remaining can be arranged accordingly because this is a symmetric matrix so we can say the three cases are possible for in this first case let us move on to second case what is the second case? Again, in second case, let us consider that two entries of the diagonal are 0. We cannot say one entry is 0. Because if one entry is 0, then we are left with odd number of zeros. And in a symmetric matrix, odd number of zeros are not possible for i not equal to j matrix. I hope you are getting my point now. Okay. Now, in second case, we can say two entries in diagonal are 0. Okay. In this and diagonal, diagonal elements, two entries are 0 zeros and 1 is 1. So now these two zeros can be selected in how many ways? 3c, 2 ways. Okay. Now we have to select elements for upper triangular or you can say lower triangular. Okay. And uh, for upper triangular we can say that we have three places of which one entry is 0 and two are 1. And this is again be selected in how many ways? 3c, 1. So total number of ways should be 9. So we can say 9 out of second case and 3 out of first case. So in total we have 12 such matrices possible. So 12 is correct answer for this question. That means A part is your correct answer. Okay. Now let's move on to next question. Now in this question it is given that uh, let A be set of all 3 by 3 symmetric matrices and all of whose entities are either 0 and 1. Okay. This is same as previous question. Now in this case we have to find the number of matrices A uh, for which system of this linear equation has unique solution. Okay, so we have to uh, find for unique solution. Now we know that a unique solution is possible only when uh, A will be a singular or non-singular. A should be a non-singular matrix. That means determinant of A should not be equal to 0. Okay. Okay, so again same uh, possibilities that means either all diagonal elements are 1. If I place all diagonal elements as 1, uh, we can say this is A, B, C and A, B, C because we need to form symmetric matrices. Okay, now uh, in this case if uh, all diagonal elements are 1, we can say that A is equal to B equal to 0 if I place a and b equal to 0 then uh, determinant will be 0 okay this is not possible if I place a and c as 0 then again determinant is 0 if I place b and c 0 then again determinant a will be equal to 0 that means uh, this possibility is not there if all diagonal elements are 1 then we cannot uh, frame a matrix symmetric matrix in which determinant value is not equal to 0. Okay, so this case is not possible. Okay, now let's move on to another cases. If I say that one of the diagonal element is 1, suppose this form, this way, okay. 
a b c and uh, this is a b and c okay now in this case if i say b equal to 0 and c equal to 0 then determinant of a should not be equal to 0 okay that means two cases are possible for this possibility which two possibilities one possibility in which b is 0 and other possibility in which c is 0 same way another case uh, when this element is 1 and other two are 0 and again this is abc and this will be abc again two possibilities are there if either a equal to 0 or c equal to 0 again for this determinant of a is not equal to 0 okay that means two cases out of this matrix two cases out of this matrix and another case possible when this element is 1 and other two are 0 and again abc abc so same way two cases from this so in total we can say we have six matrices possible so uh, six matrices are possible for this so in this way we can say what should be your correct answer uh, less than okay b b should be your correct answer okay let's move on to next part for this question in this case it is given that uh, a b okay same situation is there now we have to find the number of matrices a in no solution cases okay so for no solution cases uh, clearly answer is to this more than two cases are there let's see how uh, this is possible so now for determinant a equal to zero many cases are there you have to make symmetric one zero zero one zero zero one 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 okay uh, one is this possibility another one is zero one zero uh, one 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 and zero one zero again this is possibility uh, one 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 zero 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 again this possibility one one zero one one zero 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 one again this possibility is there uh, and many more uh, see you can form this also one zero one zero one zero and uh, one zero one okay this possibility is also there uh, one zero 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 one one and zero one one again this possible so all these matrices are uh, symmetric matrices huh? uh, any more possibility okay yes one yeah this is okay 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 so uh, in this case we will find more than two cases in which uh, the system of equations are inconsistent basically what is condition for inconsistent if this is a this is x this is b we can say adjoint of a into b this should not be equal to zero okay if this is the case then we can say the system of equation has no solution uh, and uh, the system of equation is inconsistent okay because determinant a equal to 0 will give rise to two situation it can have infinite solution it can have no solution infinite solution is the case in which adjoint of a into b that would be equal to 0 so you can uh, you have to check in all these cases so you will find more than two cases in which adjoint of a into b is not equal to 0 so your answer to this question is b okay so i hope you enjoyed the session uh, so do subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not subscribed it yet and we will come up with more such sessions okay thank you